Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues. It's really afternoon, although we are before lunch. Uh, I'm Inchel Yang from Chris, and my talk will be uh, sequence-specific counting of genes in capillary flow site time tree. Contents are introduction and brief history and uh, recent results on sequence-specific counting of DNA and RNA. Around, around 2005, we, we conceptualized our uh, strategy for establishment of biometrology like this. Uh, we subdivide biological, bi biologicals to several uh, subcategories. Uh, that was, first was large and discrete. Cell, virus, and DNA belong to this category. And we, we thought count will be very effective for this category. And second was polymeric and stoichiometric. DNA, protein, and sugar belong to this category. And we thought reductive analysis, such as elemental analysis and building block analysis, will be very effective for this category. And third one was, was complex and implicit activity, viability, and reaction will be in this category, and we thought best practice and standard, standardization will be the, uh, could be our <coughs> approach. And nowadays, we have uh, another new category. I termed it non canonical measurements, uh, such as sequence, identity, and population properties. I think we need uh, some technological innovation to measure this cat category. We developed quite nice DNA measurement standard system at Greece. Uh, if we have a macromolecular DNA here, we can quantify the DNA uh, by force force measurement using ICPOES and ICPMS. We can also quantify the macromolecular DNA by molecular counting, the subject of my talk, and we can also use digital PCR and UV spectral photometry. Alternatively, we can hydrolyze the macromolecular DNA into building blocks. Uh, nucleotides can be uh, quantified by CE and H, uh, LC ID mass. In this CE or LC ID mass, we can use our uh, nucleotide uh, reference materials as calibrators. And we further uh, developed CLD uh, mass for uh, quantification of DNA in complex matrix. CLD means stabilized top labeled uh, genomic DNA as an internal standard. The red parts are technologies and reference materials first introduced by Chris. Now let's focus on DNA counting. The conceptual a uh, figure of counting instrument is like this. It's very simple. Inlet here and uh, capillary uh, channel and outlet here and detection window here. Uh, the measurement uh, principle is also very simple. First, make the DNA uh, fluorescent tree activated. Second, uh, make the DNA flow in the channel. Third, detects the fluorescently activated individual DNAs from the detection window. It's very simple. And it is the equipment we established. It is not a commercial equipment, but we uh, built this equipment by ourselves. And you can see DNA images in the flow channel, lambda DNA and plasmid DNA. And we can count the individual DNA in oscilloscope. Uh, in 2009, we reported proof of the concept for lambda DNA. Uh, DNA in, in, in this virus was extracted, and DNA itself is not fluorescent. But if we add cyber gold uh, fluorescent dye, then the DNA will become uh, highly fluorescent because uh, cyber gold itself is not uh, uh, strongly fluorescent because uh, the fluorescent signals will be quenched by water molecules. But after binding to DNA, it becomes, becomes very 
uh, strongly fluorescent. So we can uh, detect and quantify DNA molecules. Uh, you can see this program here, and we, it was reported in Metrologia in 2009. Next was counting of plasmid DNA. Plasmid DNA is only 4.4 kilobase. It's 10 times smaller than the lambda DNA. So we had to improve our optical system and data processing for counting of plasmid DNA. And uh, in assignment of a copy number concentration of plasmid DNA, accurate measurement of sample volume is very important. So we estimate the sample volume by four different methods, including electron microscopy imaging and so on. The result was uh, reported in Metrology in 2014, five years later after the first report. Based on the plasmid counting technology, we, we uh, coordinate an uh, international comparison study, uh, CCQMP154. It was to compare digital PCR and our counting methods to, uh, for calibration-free calibration -free quantification of plasmid DNA. Uh, participants are listed here, and the assignment of reference values, and the comparison results are shown here, and the uh, final results were published in Analytical Chemistry in 2016. It was the first comparison of uh, calib calibration-free methodologies for quantification of DNA. And we also conducted bilateral comparison with the NIMH China. Uh, it is hard to uh, quantify spoke coil plasmid by based on digital PCR, and in China optimized the condition and measured the so-called DNA by DPCR, and Chris provide the uh, uh, counting results, and the results were published in scientific reports by a China colleague in 2015. Yeah. Uh, after successful demonstration of DNA counting technologies, we wanted to pro progress to the next step. In previous results, uh, all the counting was sequence independent, sequence non-specific. Discrete DNA molecules were fluorescently activated, and it was they were counted regardless of sequence context. So we want to uh, progress to the next step, that is uh, sequence-specific counting of DNA molecules. We wanted to count only the genes of interest from the pool of nucleic acids. For sequence-specific count, we have to consider many new parameters, such as sequence-specific probes, hybridization conditions, uh, fluorescent signal intensity and fragmentation, matrix effect, and so on. And finally, we wanted to validate our results with uh, UV and mass, spectrom mass spectrometry. But uh, UV and mass spectrometry are a sequence non-specific method for DNA quantification. Uh, if we use sequence specific counting, actually we, will, we are detecting and quantifying uh, up to one kilobase uh, long DNA with correct sequence. If we apply PCR based methods, the PCR will detect and quantify much smaller fragments with correct sequence. It, it can detect and quantify 100 or 200 base pair fragments. If we apply UV spectrometry, then the UV will detect all the molecules uh, absorbing uh, 260 nanometer wavelength. Okay? And the UV method is sequence independent and size independent. Mass spectrometry is also sequence in independent, size independent. These two methods are sequence dependent, sequence specific methods. These are not sequence specific. So let's, imagine, let's think about the imaged sample. There are five, uh, uh, five DNA and RNA species. One is correct, long and correct long and correct. The second is correct but fragment. Third one is very short. And uh, number four is long but wrong, incorrect. And uh, number five is RNA. If we apply sequence-specific counting 
for this sample, we will detect and quantify only number one. If we apply PCR technology, we number one and number two will be quantified, detected and quantified. If we apply UV, UV will detect all and quantify all the molecules here. And mass spectrometry will detect except for number five. So it is important, important to note that, note that uh, comparison of different method, methods dependent on fragments and impurity in the sample. We used uh, fluorescent text probes for sequence specific counting. Uh, in Korea, uh, one probe is about more than $100, so it is better use smaller number of, numbers of probes as long as the uh, quantification quality is maintained. So we test uh, numbers of probes on M13 single-strand DNA as a uh, model, model sample. You can see uh, number dependent fluorescent signals here, uh, and we thought uh, 30 probes will be sufficient for our uh, sequence specific uh, counting of DNA. And you can see repeatability of our condition. Negative, negative control test. Uh, in sports games, two things are important for to win the games. One is defense, the other is uh, offense. The same is for our uh, sequence specific counting. Defense is to exclude all the wrong, incorrect targets. And offense is to include all the correct targets. So we first tested, tested uh, defensive capability of our system with many, many negative controls, including buffer only, and no probe, uh, incorrect fluorescent probe, and fluorescent probes only. This is a, a correct signal, and you, we cannot see any significant uh, signals from the negative control. So we, we thought our defensive system is very nice, and we further test if the negative controls really, uh, really um, have some DNAs, and so we added uh, sequence non-specific uh, cyber gold dyes into negative samples, and we can observe uh, strong and dispersed signals here that indicate uh, there was really DNA and RNA molecules, but they were not detected by our sequence specific counting. But in the initial results, uh, the results were only 60% of the expected value. So we had to further optimize our uh, counting system. Uh, after optimization, optimization of high vision conditions and high vision buffer, the uh, positive signals were about 30% improved. Okay? So, the uh, fine, our results were validated by other methods. You can see raw data from the counting, pink one here, superimposed with blank signals. And we also applied the digital PCR assays, TPCR assay one and two, also applied IDMS method. And results are compared here. Very nice agreement between counting and digital PCR assays. They are sequence specific quantification method, and another very nice agreement between UV and MS. They are sequence non-specific method, but it's about 20% difference. There's a, about 20% difference. I think the difference uh, have originated from the, some fragmentation and impurity, okay? Fragments and impurity will not be detected by TPCR and counting while they will be detected by UV and mass spectrum tree. Next step is to count RNA. We thought, actually, our final goal was to count RNA molecules because uh, in biological measurement, RNA cannot be directly measured by TPCR assays because it, it requires reverse, reverse transcription. But we don't know what is the reverse transcription efficiency and we don't know any system to cal calibrate the reaction. So we thought 
Direct counting is much better uh, method for quantification of RNA. We used MS2 RNA virus as a model system, and we designed 15 and 15, totally 30 uh, probes in separate regions. And RNA is very fragile, so we were very carefully, okay, uh, we were very carefully maintained the RNA molecules not degraded the, uh, during the pretreatment, and we monitored the pattern. You can see uh, free DNA and free RNA here, and uh, slight band shaped by hybridization, and also you can see small portion of RNA is being degraded by treatment. Anyway, this is the final results. You can see uh, counting data here, a positive signal and blank signal in blue, and results by reverse trans transcription mediated DPCR say one and say two, and it was, they were uh, compared with the results from UV. Actually, we performed Mass spectrometry, but it was not complete yet, so the mass data is not provided here. And you can see small difference between uh, counting and DPCR assays. I think it is due to reverse transcription. And this disagreement is due to fragmentation. Okay? So, as a conclusion, uh, Sequence-specific counting of single-strand DNA and single-strand uh, single RNA was achieved. Second, uh, counting and DPCR produced very highly equivalent quantities for single-strand DNA. But higher values were obtained by counting than DPCR for single-strand single RNA. We think that is due to reverse transcription, and we think uh, counting is is the better quantification method, skipping reverse transcription. We, reported, we, are, we are reporting four, uh, four uh, successful counting of lambda DNA, plasmid DNA, M13 single strand DNA, and MS2 single strand RNA. And we think Chris counting strategy link, is linking bio, biological properties directly to more. And uh, this work was done mainly by Dr. Sangnal Park sitting, sitting there. And doc, uh, actually, he was a student, and now, now he's a postdoc, Dr. Hibong Yu. Uh, Sangnal Park did conceptualization, instrumentation, exp experimental design, supervising, and Hibong Yu did experimentation, troubleshooting, and data processing. They did everything. It seems that they did everything, and I did nothing. <laughs> but, but I, I don't think I did nothing. <laughs> I, I, I made s small, uh, some contributions to the uh, sequence-based counting. And I think it would be better if he's here talking about this and uh, I, am, I was there listening to it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.